All right, Scats Pad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be talking about how the young man in the vehicle deleted it. Older guy, you know, just took him out of here, and um, we're going to give our thoughts on it and what's going on in society. So we'll be back. I just want to get right into the topic because this is very serious and i think that um a lot of people need to hear what we got to say and also too we're going to be taking live calls on our live streams soon so be on the lookout for that the number will be on the screen you can call in and we're going to let you talk whatever questions you got whatever and that's it but getting into this man So apparently, so what actually happened was, I believe it was two young guys. I don't know if they were, I don't know what color they was. And it doesn't really even matter to me. You know what I'm saying? But two young guys, they stole a car. And on their way driving, this was in Las Vegas, I believe. On their way driving, they hit another car. Like they hit hit another car on purpose. It's all on tape. I believe, I believe one of them was live streaming. They was or they was recording it. I don't know if it was live streaming, but they was recording. And then they seen a guy riding on a bike, and they actually took the guy out, toppled the guy with the vehicle, vehicular homicide, toppled him, just like no remorse. It's like ran somebody over in a car you ha- you're driving a car and you run someone over like what first of all who raised you and even if you had a bad household you should already know by default Nobody goes around running people over with cars. This is not like uh, it's a challenge or or uh, this is an epidemic or something or or this something that just happens randomly all the time. This doesn't even happen. What in your brain made you decide to topple someone with a car? You know what I'm saying? It ain't like you got a bike and he has a bike and you have a bike and you riding up on the side of him. You bump his bike. You know what I'm saying? You have a 3,000 pound vehicle versus a person who's about 190 to 240 or whatever pounds they were on a bike. And on top of that, you hit them from the back. So the person didn't even see it coming and got ran over. Now I know we always say, uh, you shouldn't trust people, right? Everybody says, don't trust nobody. Right. But at a certain point in life, you have to trust people to a certain extent because things happen so for example he's riding on the right side of the road he's trusting nobody to hit him with their car because he has his back towards them you know what i'm saying so you're trusting that these people are responsible drivers and they won't hit you same thing is if you go to a restaurant and you get food. You're trusting that these people won't put bleach in your food. You know what I'm saying? Right. So at this point, in his head, he's not believing that there's someone actually out there that is going to run him over with a car. Because if, if that was the case, 
he would have rolled on a sidewalk or he wouldn't have been, I believe he was in a bike lane, but he would have rolled on the sidewalk. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. now a 17 year old boy, young boy, he ain't even a man yet is going to prison for the rest of his life. I believe, uh, I believe that, um, I believe that Los Angeles and uh, Los Angeles, uh, 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 Las Vegas, I believe they have the death penalty. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you know in the comments, but even if they don't, you're going to be in jail for the rest of your life. Let's say you got 30, let's say you give, let's say you get 25 years, right? You get 25 years, you get out, you're meant, you're mentally gone. Mm -hmm. You killed this man. You and your friend killed this man as a joke. And 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 I'm gonna cut the kill part out. <laughs> Y'all got this man out of here as a joke. And 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 to me, this just goes to show you that the youth in this country has gotten so far. Went has went so went so far to the to the to the left. Not even left, like left leaning, but went so far to the like they went so far. It's like I don't even know what to say anymore. It's crazy to me, man. It's crazy. Well, you know, um, first and foremost, rest in peace to whoever you know. What I mean, this happened to you know. Um, you gotta start with the parenting. I mean, I hate to say it, but it's true. Like, you know, um, children don't get born like that. It has to be embedded in their skull within some time. So however this these young men were being raised is what's being portrayed right now. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm a person that's been in the environment of, you know, all types of befoolery and consistent nonsense, what do you think's gonna happen with me when I get older? I'm gonna be indulging in those same type of behaviors. Now, I can say that there has been times where you do have children born in these, to these type of environments and they get themselves together and they do the right thing. There are times where that happens. But when you see stuff like this, <clears throat> it gets magnified over that, you know? Like who raised these children for them to think that that was cool to go do that to this innocent man? Now he's gone. You don't know if he got grandchildren, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Now he's gone. You taking him away from his family over a joke. And that's how these children are nowadays, man. These viral moments. These mm -hmm. viral moments that these children want to portray. Prime example of that, you know? They don't care about taking people's lives. You got the one chick faking getting smacked with a brick. And... You know what I mean? These viral, these viral moments, that's what they want. You know what I mean? I, I, I've i said it before and I've said it again. Y'all keep playing with fire. Y'all going to get burnt. Now this man, this boy, not man, boy, is going to be behind bars for the rest of his life. He can't enjoy the prom. He can't have no girlfriend. Oh, well. He gonna have something in there. It ain't gonna be what he gonna like though. <laughs> it ain't gonna be what he gonna like though. And his whole life is destroyed over a joke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm gonna put it to you like this. It's no excuse for any of this no more. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. A lot of people ain't gonna like what I'm about to say. There's no excuse for 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 uh any any young person, black, white, Asian, uh Spanish. 
no excuse for any young person to do anything illegal anymore. Not one excuse. N in this country, there's no excuse for you to do anything illegal. Before, I would kind of like side with a person that said that. But now, there is no excuse for any young person in this country to do anything illegal. Anything. There's no excuse. I don't care if you live in the most impoverished area in America. I don't care if they tell you, if they say, oh, well, you got to understand where they grew up at. You got to understand the environment. You got to know. Because guess what? This thing right here, this thing right here, this thing right here is a powerful tool. If you can go live on this thing right here, you can get a job. You can start a YouTube channel. You could do whatever. You know what I'm saying? And you could do it the right way. You ain't got to do it the illegal way. There's plenty of young guys who are 19, 20 years old. They're multi-millionaires off of this thing right here. And everybody has one. Access to the outside world. If you can't find a job. All you got to do is ask what's the nearest jobs hiring all comes up. What's the nearest bus route all comes up. How can I take a trip cheap all comes up. Chat GPT comes up, tells you, how can I write a book? Can you write a book for me? Anything. There's no excuse for any young person in this country to do anything Ill illegal. Anything. I don't care You're what right. it is. Nothing. You're, you're right. So this right here, he should get the maximum sentence that they're trying to get. Because even though he might come from a bad environment, and as a human being, you know that that was wrong. As a human. I don't care but, if you say, oh, I was raised badly. You know that if, if, if there is a, a, a pot that is on fire, as a human, you know not to do what? Stick your hand in there. You know. You know not to jump off a building without a parachute. You know. Just like you know you can't run over somebody with a car. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, look, man. That's all I got, man. Like I said, like I said, um, by no means am I uh, making excuses for, for, for the actions at all. But what I'm saying is that you know, and uh, and and you're right. There's no excuse for it. But um, I still feel the upbringing has a lot to do with it. And as long as we keep giving passes to uh, to, to 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 kids like this. These type of things is always going to happen. You know what I mean? Because think about it. There's some cases where things similar happen like this and they get a slap on the wrist and they get to go about their business. There has been cases like that, you know, but. I've seen, I've seen cases where guys did the same thing and then nothing happened to them. I did. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But that doesn't, that's to me, it, it, that's comparing apples to apples. I'm still, I'm talking about as a person, whether it didn't happen to him, that's different. I'm not saying that, that as far as the nothing happening to him, that's different versus they both was wrong for what they did as humans. You should know not to do that. Not what happened to them after that. You know, that's my personal opinion. So I seen a guy, I seen a thing. This was about two years ago and he ran over a crowd of people in a parade. And he ran him over. And I believe they he, he went to jail and they let him out. So my thing is like, it's, a, it's an agenda being pushed and I don't really want to get into it right now. But anyway, hey man, listen, man. It is what it is, man. Rest in peace yeah. to that guy and his family. Yeah. Shout out to y'all. One, one thing, one thing I want to say too. Don't tag mental health to this because there was nothing mentally wrong with those young men that did that. Don't tag mental health to this. There's nothing mentally wrong with them. 
They knew what they were doing. This was yeah. fun. Ha ha he, he. They, they, this was fun for them. Yeah. So don't tag mental health to it. That's all I gotta say. Hey man. Thanks, man. You know what I mean. All right, peace.